Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. A little shoulder and neck, all things, chest, upper body, little stretch, a little mobility for you to add in. Okay, you're gonna start seated. You can choose, you can sit on a edge of your couch, of your bed. You can sit on the floor like myself, something comfortable for yourself. And then you're just gonna take a moment to pull yourself into this moment. So whether that's taking the hands to the knees, onto the lap, whatever feels good for you. You can also close your eyes here just to take in a couple of big inhales and exhales. Maybe this is in the morning, maybe this is a lunchtime, maybe this is in the evening before bed. So wherever you are coming from, just bringing yourself to this moment, giving yourself the next few minutes some love for that upper body. Okay, on your next breath in, draw the shoulders up. You're gonna create lots of tension there. Shrug them up nice and high, and then as you exhale, press them down. And think of shoulders as far down away from the ears as you can on the exhale. Do that again two more times. Breath in, draw the shoulders up. Exhale to push them down. One more time there, big breath in. Shrugging those shoulders up. Exhale to pull them down. Good, from there. Keep those shoulders coming down. Take your right ear over to your right shoulder. And you're gonna roll the, chest, the chin down towards the center of the chest. Keep pressing the shoulders down all the way over so that the left ear comes over to the left shoulder. Take a pause there for a moment. Just notice how it feels to the right side of the neck. And then roll that chin back down towards the center of the chest all the way back over to the right. Pause there. We're gonna do that one more time. Dropping that chin down towards the chest. Keep pressing the shoulders down as much as you can. Over to the left, pause. Oh, it feels so good. And last time back over to the right, taking a pause there. Okay, let's bring that head back up to neutral. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna look over your right shoulder. Try to keep those shoulders down and back once again. Try to also give, just give a slight tuck of that chin. Sometimes we look over and we lift. So we wanna keep neutral, look to the right, Pull it back through center, look over to the left. And then back through center. Back over to the right, take a pause once you were there. Good, back center, over to the left. Pause there. One more time, over to the right. Good, really trying to get that nice rotation there. Last time over to the left. Okay, back in through center. From here, we're gonna take a look up to sky or ceiling, wherever you are. Breath in, so you're opening up the front of the neck, lifting that chin up, and then exhale, drop that chin down towards the chest, take your gaze down. Maybe you're doing with this with your eyes closed. Still the same thing here, you want those shoulders pulling down from those ears, look up. Breath in, exhale, look down. Do that one more time. Big breath in, looking up, good, and then exhale to look back down, okay. From there, take those fingertips to the tops of the shoulders. You're gonna think of your elbows as your little pencil point, drawing nice big rotations. They're super slow here. So the elbows come forward, up, back, and down. Do one more time, nice and slow there. Forward, up, back, and down. And then change your direction, go the opposite way. And going nice and slow, making it literally your biggest rotation. So sometimes we'll just kind of do these little chicken wings. Really think of getting that big end range of your shoulders of how far you can draw that all around. Go one more time. Make it work hard, make it work hard. So good. Okay, from there, we're going to transition, excuse me, into tabletop, please, and thank you. So coming up onto those hands and those knees, if you were propped up on anything, you can move that out of the way. All right. From there, you're going to spread your fingers nice and wide. All right, we're going to start with some shoulder uh, retraction. So the scapulas are going to come towards one another into the spine, and then you're going to push the floor away. So you want to think of the, sh the shoulder blades pulling inwards and then them rounding away from the spine. And you're also going to do that nice and slow. So you're sinking that chest forward as the shoulder blades do it front view. The shoulder blades come into the spine, and then you're going to push them away. And then you're kind of getting that concave back. Okay. 
go nice and slow here. Once again, really drawing that awareness into the shoulder blades, an awesome exercise for prep for push-ups, for handstands, all of that good stuff. Okay, one more time there. All right, from there, we're gonna take our right hand, and we're gonna sweep it up, come into to a nice thoracic reach and open. Right hand, hand is gonna sweep up towards the sky ceiling, reaching it up, trying to get that nice rotation, and then you're gonna thread that down and through. So reach under, tap the right shoulder down towards the floor, Good, and then take another breath in, sweep that right arm up again. Reaching up there, thinking of mid to upper back rotation. Exhale, sweep it down and through. Good, one more time there. Big breath in, sweep it up and open. This one, you're gonna come down and hold onto that right shoulder. So the right shoulder comes down towards the floor. The right temple can touch towards the floor as well. You can leave your left hand just as it is. You can also take it to the low back really reach those right fingers. You can also take that left arm and reach up towards the sky ceiling as well. Breathing there for three, for two, good, and for one. Take the left hand back in front of the face, press through that left hand, reach and rotate with that right arm one more time. Return to your tabletop, okay. Second little drill for those shoulders. Now what we're gonna do is that still that retraction concept, but you're gonna actually draw circular. So you're gonna drop, the, the hips are gonna start to move. You're gonna come forward, around and through. Going again, nice and slow here. You might hear Zoe in the background because she's having a little play on the couch. <laughs> Go the other direction. Shoulders come forward, chest falls through, shoulders come back and around. That is some serious work right there. Okay, let's leave the right hand on the floor this time. Left arm reaches up and opening through that chest. And as you exhale there, reach the left arm through over to the right side, tapping that left shoulder down, pressing through, reaching up, left arm here. Big breath in, open up, rotate, exhale to thread it down and through. Tap that left shoulder, we'll do that one more time for the side. Big breath in, reach up and open. On this one here, you're going to reach down through, stay there on that left shoulder, left temple comes towards the floor. Again, you have the option for right fingertips to stay there. Right hand to the low back. You can also reach that right arm up and back for three. Keep reaching your left fingers for two. And for one, right hand presses down in front of the face. Push through, rotate, and twist one more time there. Nice job. Exhale, release. Okay, something I should have said probably at the beginning. If you have either a yoga strap or a towel, um, a belt works, a resistant band, anything like that. We're gonna come into a little shoulder opener using that, okay? So whatever you have, grab it. If you need to press pause, press pause, join me when you are back, okay? So from this position, you can do this on double knees. Some people like being on single knee. You can also come up standing. The goal here though is to keep that nice tuck position through the pelvis so that we're not arching and dumping into that back. So we wanna maintain that nice neutral spine. So get that position, whether you're standing or kneeling, two knees, one knee, and then you're gonna find um, the width on your prop of where you can make your rotations. And you'll notice once you start to come back, how wide do those arms need to be or the hand grip needs to be. Pulling the band, or your prop all the way around and through. So this is where you want to think of activating the glutes. So you're squeezing the glutes towards one another, keeping that engagement as you rotate back so that you're not arching through that low back. And big inhales and exhales for that movement. If you're not used to this, uh, and or slash if you have tight shoulders like myself, you will notice how wide my hands need to be to get that full rotation around Good, bring it back one more time, and we're gonna go back one more time as well. Taking it back, all the way back and around, just keeping the glutes active, so good. Pulling that back around. Okay, lots of shoulder things going on there. All right, we're gonna come down onto our bellies next. We're gonna get a little bit more into those shoulders, really getting into that rotation. I'm gonna demo it as I'm um, kneeling first so you can see what I'm doing. So if I was laying flat on my mat here, I'm gonna reach my arms up overhead and I'm gonna make fists with those hands. I'm gonna come into extension. That means I'm gonna lift my arms away from the floor. I'm gonna keep my arms, I'm gonna make my little angel wings coming around. And then I'm gonna take my hands to the center of my back 
and trying to keep, uh, try to get those fists up as high as I can towards my back. I'm going to pull my shoulders and elbows towards one another and return to that starting overhead position. So let's try that together here. You're laying down on your belly. Mm, come all the way down. Make sure you have space. No props are in the way. Okay. Those hands reach forward. We take the backs of the feet, uh, the tops of the feet towards the floor. Lift up in your fist. Reach those arms all the way around. Rotate, rotate, rotate as far as you can. And then bend up those elbows. Bring those fists towards the spine. Keep lifting the shoulders. Keep lifting the chest. Take a big breath in there. And then return to that starting position. Reach the arms around. Rotate, 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 rotate all the way to the top, and then slowly release down, take a moment. If you're doing this slow, with lots of engagement, it is tough, okay? So, create your fists again, the tops of the thumbs are facing up, we lift here, big breath in, rotate those arms all the way around, good, until you can't, and then you bring those elbows up and back, squeezing there, take a breath in, return back to that start one more time, so good, lower that down. Last one here, big breath in. Reach those fists up, rotate the arms around. So good, take your time. Fists to come through center, breathe and squeeze through that back body. Take another big breath in, and then return back through center. Oh, okay, that is some challenging stuff right there. Okay. Taking your left arm, staying down on that belly, we're gonna come into the chest and shoulder a little bit more. Left arm out to a nice big T beside you, palm facing down. Right hand comes on underneath of the chest and shoulder. You're gonna roll yourself towards that left hip. You can take that right foot in behind you. You can also keep those feet stacked if that feels better for you. If you have a yoga block or a pillow, handy, great place to rest the head, otherwise you can take it towards the floor. Sometimes that's not comfortable for some of us. Let's breathe in through that left side chest and shoulder there. If you feel like you're not feeling that deep of a stretch, you can take your arm to the cactus on that left side. So bending up the elbow to a 90 degree position there. Breathing through the chest and shoulder for three, for two, and for one, okay, slowly releasing that side. We'll transition so that we come to the other side. So right arm comes out to that nice big T position, palm facing down, left hand to support that rollover position. Coming on to that right side, chest, shoulder. Again, option to use your prop for the head. Breathing there, option to take that right arm to that cactus shape. Breathing for three, for two, and for one awesome stuff, rolling back onto the belly, oh, making your way back. And then from there, you can push yourself up and back into a nice wide child's pose. So take the toes to touch, take the knees wide, take the hips back towards those heels. Walk the hands out and then tent those fingertips. You're coming right up onto the tops of the fingertips. Let the chest come through, let the belly come through, let the forehead rest down on your mat. Dry nice big breaths in through the back body, into the shoulders as well. Breathing here for five, for four, for three, for two, and for one. Oh, so good. Some good work there, lots of openers, lots of mobility and stretching through. Oh, I feel so much better through chest, shoulders, through some neck stuff. If you do carry a lot of tension there, all great things to do for yourself. Amazing job, everybody. See you soon.